Hello, I'm Dr. Sean Cummings from Freedom Health. And I'm Dr. Mervyn Tyra. I also work at Freedom Health and I work at the Royal Free Hospital where I'm an HIV physician in North London. And at Freedom Health we have uh, very many inquiries every day, both by email and by telephone, about uh, sexual health issues, often uh, HIV related. And so we thought it would be uh, a useful addition to our website to film some short clips on uh, key issues surrounding HIV and uh, the routes of transmission and various r risks associated with that. A lot of people ask about uh, the symptoms associated with HIV infection and I think it's important to realise that HIV infection uh, has a huge spectrum of illness from early infection through to late stage disease. And I think what's important to know that the syndromes associated with early infection and late stage disease are quite distinct from each other. In the case of an early infection, uh, within a couple of days, usually 10 days onwards, um, to up to about three months after infection, patients can have an acute flu-like illness with high fevers, night sweats, weight loss, sore throats and rash. These often resolve fairly quickly and in some patients they won't have any symptoms at all and might still have been exposed to the virus. So Mervyn, how many, uh, how, what, what sort of percentages are we talking would have early symptoms? Because the, the, figures on the, uh, the figures in the literature vary very widely. So some of the, uh, some of the papers suggest 30%, some of them suggest 70% and my own gut feeling is around about 70%. Yes, I think that's right. I think that probably about 70% of people will have symptoms of some sort. Not all of those symptoms will be severe symptoms, mm. though. And so I would say that people who have very severe seroconversions probably represent less than 20% of seroconversion illnesses. But mild flu-like symptoms, which can often be missed, will represent or make up the rest of that percentage. And what, what would you say was the, um, if, you, if you had to put uh, your finger on the, on the, the most common symptoms, how, how would you describe them? What would, what would they be? Unquestionably, fevers would be, and, and high temperatures would be the, the most important symptom. Um, sore throat, very sore throats are, are very common, and uh, a diffuse red rash that affects pretty much most of the body, uh, particularly the trunk uh, and the limbs, uh, would, would be a very common symptom in acute seroconversion illness. And would you say that though, what I often say to patients is that, um, that those three things, sore throat, very severe sore throat, very high temperature and, uh, and this rash over the entire body, those things tend to come more or less together during a, an acute seroconversion uh, period. Yes, they do. And sometimes there can be other symptoms that are associated with those, but those do generally cluster as, a, as, a, as a, you know, the main features. Yes. I do think that rash can be missed because it can often just look like a reddening of the body without any distinct lesions. Uh, but on the whole, there would be some evidence of, of uh, reddening of the skin. And a, a, another um, a very common query we get on our uh, Freedom Health Forum is uh, the relationship in time between a, a possible exposure and then the, uh, the onset of seroconversion symptoms. So people will very commonly uh, have an exposure, for example, they'll have a sexual episode maybe with a, a sex worker. And then the next day, or in the two or three days afterwards, they will experience what they describe as uh, seroconversion symptoms. And again, my advice is that usually within a few days, that's too soon. And I would suggest to them that uh, those symptoms will come on at around about 10 days plus. Would you I agree I think that's that? absolutely correct. Um, very often people are, are experiencing non-specific symptoms in the first few days after a potential sexual exposure largely through anxiety mm -hmm. and it is very 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 rare to have any symptoms associated with HIV infection before two weeks. It's only 
from the two, 10 day, two week, 14 day period onwards that there is enough virus in the system and the immune system is trying to, to deal with that emerging viral infection that those symptoms will emerge. Um, it's just so unlikely that you would have any distinctive HIV related symptoms in the first two weeks. Yes.